looking for a new car. This thing, oh, this is a good car. You'll like this one. This here is a 2003 Ford Windstar. But you might say, oh, it's a little bit old for what I'm looking for. Don't worry, 2003 runs just like new. Here, come along, come along, take, take a look at this. See this build quality right here? They don't make cars like this anymore. 20 years, it's only got a, a wee bit of rust. No problemo. This gas tank here, this gas tank here, 80 liters. You could drive from here to Ottawa without having to worry about gas, which is actually quite good because the speedometer in this car doesn't work at all, neither do any of the other gauges. How much gas do you have, we'll never know, but with that 80 liter tank, you won't ever have to worry about it. This, this wheel back here, this, this obviously isn't an original tire. Well, that's because we replaced it because this, this tire back here is obviously much better. Don't worry about it leaning out a little bit. The axle kind of cracked a bit, but that's not, that's not, that's not really a major issue. It's just, just a small crack in the axle. All right, but enough of the exterior of this car. Let me show you what's inside because I think you're really like that. Yeah, let's open up this door. Obviously, lovely automatic doors that actually work better than I thought it would. So, you know, for those really long road trips, you hold your phone and you, you can't see. It's just an absolute mess. Well, not anymore. We've got you covered with the built-in rear entertainment system. Most phones are like four-inch screens. This thing, it's at least seven. So double the size, fantastic quality. And you might be wondering, well, how on earth do I watch something on there? Can I airplay with my iPhone? Like, what do I do? Well, no, you don't have to worry about any of that fancy schmancy subscription service stuff. All you got to do is put in a video cassette tape and you're all set. And I might be wondering, what other kind of real entertainment do you have back here? Just video cassettes? Well, no, no, no. This is the future. We've also, what do we got here? We've got a tape player for your favorite tapes from, of, of the police from the 80s that your parents recorded. If you wanted, wanted to listen to that. Let's get this car started. Listen to this engine roar. Oh, we got a, a check tires light. What do we got? 386,575 kilometers. That's farther than the moon is from the earth for anyone that doesn't know that. All right, now I'm sure you want to see these automatic doors do their stuff. So let me just go ahead and close it here and you'll see it'll close by itself and lock by itself. It's really fantastic stuff. So obviously not this door works, but that one still works, which is really fantastic. You get a whole one door that works in this car. While that one's closing, Let's, uh, let's talk over here about the climate control. Now this car used to have air conditioning and heat, but uh, we've decided to reduce that to just heat. We figured, you know, it's getting kind of, uh, it's getting kind of cool up here. You don't need the air conditioning, so that's not a big deal. You could always open the window. Now you might say, why don't you just open both of the, well, you can't open both of the windows, as you can see here. Let me just put the key in the ignition. As you can see, this window works quite nicely. Now go ahead and give yours a try. As you can see, it does not work. And it is the same case with the back two windows. Only the one on the left-hand side works, which I mean is fine. So only the door on the right-hand side works and only the window on the left-hand side works, but you only need one of each to get a, a nice car. So I think that'll be just dandy. Now, just because the door won't close by itself automatically doesn't mean you can't help it out. If you just give it a little bit of a push. Okay, it still doesn't work. Fine. I think we're good. Okay, so the trunk power lock does not work. No need to worry, because we thought about this by installing a lovely little key on the back door. So in case your power lock stopped working, go ahead and insert the key. And there you go, voila, plenty of space. And of course, these cars come with our lovely Ontario license plates with only the cheapest stickers that you could find that will immediately come off in the winter and you'll never be able to read them again. So if you think about this car, that's a pretty good deal. You're getting quite a bit. It's got not, it's 19 years old, but you don't have to worry about the 19 years. What you're worried about is the mileage. It's only been to the moon once. You could think about it. You could probably get a couple more chips out of that. The broken axle at the back, no need to worry about that. That's kind of an easy fix. Same thing with the rust. It's not really that big of a problem. Anyways, it's a fantastic car. I can see you're interested. Uh, whenever you're ready, just come on in. We'll sign the paperwork, and I uh, can't wait to get you in this vehicle.